Welcome to my Bar Lardy's Body Blitz Out of Thigh Burner. For today's workout, all you will need is an exercise mat. Okay, let's get started. I want you to bring your body into an L position where you're lining up the back of your body with the back of your mat and then bringing your legs in front. The closer you bring your legs towards your chest, the harder this is going to be. So if you're just starting out, just leave the angle a little bit wider. But if you can, bring it into a direct L position and stretch your legs out, stacking your hips on top of each other so that your legs are directly on top of each other. That's very important. Don't roll back in your body. Bring your other hand in front like this just to give you some support. And we're going to start with little flexed foot ups. So raising your leg just a little bit and then down. Up and down. Really locking out behind the back of your leg so that you are getting the full benefit of stretching as well as strengthening. You should really feel this in your glutes and outer thighs straight away. I can feel it straight away. Up and down, up and down. Your feet are flexed at this point. We're going to go five, four, three, two, one. Now I want you to go up, up, hold. Up, up, hold. So you're not coming down as far. The emphasis is on the up, up and hold. Up, up and hold. So on the hold, really think about squeezing that outer thigh. It's a mini bounce and hold. Bounce and hold. You should be feeling this. I can feel that burn. It's really adding up quickly. Up, up, hold. Just three more like this. Up, hold, up, and two, up, and three. Now coming down low, point your toe, and I want you to do a little bend press with a pointed toe. Bend press. You're lengthening out through that foot, pointing away, making sure your knees are stacked on top of each other, your hips are stacked on top of each other, and the burn here should be intense. Squeeze and squeeze. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Great job, bending that leg. We're gonna do like a bicycle. We're gonna come out, back and out. Around, out and back. Point and flex. So you're pointing on the way around, flexing when it comes to meet the other foot. So this is a bit of a release. Flex and point. Flex and point. Push away and around. Push away and around. Nice rotation, keeping your hips aligned the entire time and making sure that your leg is staying in the same horizontal plane. Don't drop the leg at all. Keep it up and up. Just four more like this. And three. And two. And one. Now bring your knees together and both legs up so your shins are lifting up off the ground. And we're just going to point away and come in. Point long and come in. That other leg is just an anchor point for you to bring your extended leg back to. You're stretching out long and in. Stretching out and in. Really locking out behind that knee as you stretch away. Stretch. Keep that other shin really nice and high. Stretch. All the way out. And out. Nice and long for eight and seven, six, and five, just four, and three, and two, and one. Now bringing both legs together, touching your toes together, and doing a diamond press. Down and press back. Down, press back. So the emphasis is on the press back. You're keeping your toes elevated here. So you're still engaging your lower leg as well. And press back. Squeezing with your outer hips and outer thighs. Really trying to bring that knee up to face the ceiling. So it's from front to ceiling. Front to ceiling. Or just as high as you can get it. Down, press back. Down, press back. Just eight. And seven. And six and five, 
just four and three and two and one. Now extend those legs back in front in that L and we're going to bring this top leg up, up, rotate the toe down, rotate the toe up. So it's like a figure eight motion, toe to heel, heel to heel, toe to heel, heel to heel. It's like you're pulling a needle and thread up and down, up and down. Really try to rotate through it. I know this hurts, but you can do this. This is what's shaping those glutes. So down and up. Just four like this, and three, and two, and one. Now we're gonna go back for two, kick. Back for two, release. So you're coming past that leg on the forward, all the way front. Back for two, front. Back and front. Releasing out, but still squeezing that glute on the back. And front for five, and front, and four, and front, three, front, two, front, and last one, front. Now bend your legs, and it's going to be a toe to toe, knee to knee, toe, knee. Just burning it out a little bit faster paced. Keep your hips stacked, make sure you're not rolling towards the back. Your upper body's nice and relaxed here and a nice fast pace, just burning out that outer thigh a little bit more. You can do this, keep going. No more saddlebags, burning away any excess fat, strengthening the muscle underneath, pointing that toe, keeping that leg high, eight and seven and six and five and four and three and two and one. Now extend that leg and we're just going to do a traditional outer thigh raise. Down and up. You're not actually touching your toe to the ground even. You're keeping it high. Keeping it in the working zone. Squeezing. Squeezing that leg long. And eight. And seven. Slow count. And six and five, and four, and three, and two, and one. Now flex that foot, and the same thing, up and down with a flexed foot this time. Change it, changes the emphasis, you should feel it slightly differently, stretching through your hamstring as well, really pushing that foot away. Nice up and downs, fast pace, eight, seven, six, and five, and four, and three, and two, and one, and just point and flex, point and flex, alternate. Fast pace, burning out that outer thigh. Should really be starting to feel this now. And up, and up, and up, and up. You can do this. If you ever want to intensify, just put on those ankle weights. It'll make this workout a lot tougher. Up and up. Really stretch away, thinking about lengthening as well as strengthening throughout all these exercises. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Great job, we're moving to the other side. So coming up, we're just gonna stretch for a second. Bring that leg across and hug that knee to the chest. Try and keep both your butt cheeks on the mat and just pull it in, feeling it through that glute. Ah, oh, squeezing in, releasing that. And then moving to the other side. So remembering to make an L shape with your body. And once again, if you find that you really can't have your legs right in an L, then bring them out further. The further you bring them out, the easier this is. But if you can, hug them in, make that L shape, flex your feet and little ups. Little ups. Make sure your hips are stacked. Don't roll back like this, but bring your hand in front. 
so that your body is tending to lean forward rather than back. You'll feel it a lot more in that outer thigh. Little ups. Keeping that leg locked out as if there's a piece of wood behind the knee, straightening it. Pushing away with your heel, really lengthening. Your feet should be exactly on top of each other. Just go for five and four, three, two, one. Now it's up, up, hold. Up, up, hold. Little ups, then hold. Just hold for a split second. Hold your tummy in to support your core and your back. Up, up, hold. Burning now, up, hold. Up, up, hold. Squeeze it. Really squeeze your hips and outer thighs. Really feeling this for eight and seven and six and five. Breathe through it and four and three and two and one. Now doing that bicycle action. So bring your knee into your chest and you flex towards the front, point towards the back. Flex away and point. Keeping your foot or your whole leg, sorry, on that same horizontal plane. Let's push away and point. Flex and point. If the feet are uh, uh, really getting you confused, then just do either flex or point. It doesn't really matter. It just helps to engage the muscles a little bit more if you're flexing and pushing away at the front here and lengthening and pointing. Try not to hit your wall like me. Oh, nice in the same horizontal plane. Make sure your kneecap is staying facing the front the entire time. Don't allow it to face up to the ceiling. And back. Just three. And two. And one. Now point your leg. And we're going to do a little bend press with that top leg. So you're just pushing your leg away. Press and press. Really pressing hard. Straightening out behind that knee, keeping your legs stacked on top of each other, squeezing, squeezing, really feeling that. For eight and seven and six and five and four and three and two and one, ouch. Bending those legs, knees stacked on top of each other, and push away. Push up to the ceiling, in and up, in and up. Keeping that other shin off the ground. Make, your sh make sure your hips are still stacked here. You're lengthening up. Keeping your kneecap facing the front of the room. And up. Stretch away, point away. Thinking long legs. Thinking about locking out behind the knee. Keep your upper body facing forward. Don't let it roll back. And squeeze slightly to the back. So you should feel your glute engaging here as well. And up and up for eight and seven, six and five and four, three, two, and one, now coming back down, toes are meeting, and we're gonna do those diamond ups. Up and back, squeezing it back. Keeping your toes high. You should actually feel your legs shaking a little bit here, if you're doing it really hard. So think about pushing that knee to the ceiling. Squeeze up, so the focus is on the squeeze up. Down and squeeze, up. Really thinking about opening up, feeling that burn in the outer thigh, in the outer hip, in the glutes. Should really feel this now. Eight, seven, six, and five. Just four, three, two, one. Ouch, bringing those legs back in front. And we're going to do that needle action. So we're going to come up and down. Heel to heel, toe to heel. Heel to heel, toe to heel. Oh, this side's really tight for me. 
So it's actually a lot sore than the other side. Down and up. Breathe through the burn. Think about the changes you want to make in your body. Try and twist as much as you can. Once again, if you need to, bring your legs down here. Oh, feeling it. Feeling it bad. Down. Just four more like this. Four and up. Three and up. Two and up. One and up. Oh my goodness. Back for two. Kick forward. Back for two and forward. Back, back and forward. Oh, stretching back and releasing forward. Stretching all the way back, squeezing your glute on the back and then releasing forward, kicking past that other leg. Back, back and forward. It should feel good. Forward for four, forward and three, forward and two, and last one. Forward, now bending those legs, toe to toe, knee to knee, toe, knee. Picking that leg up each time in the middle, making a big arc and squeezing, squeezing through that glute. Really trying to tap rather than flop down. So don't let your leg rest on top of that other leg. Keep the pace up, down and down, down and down. Squeeze and squeeze. You can do this last few exercises. Eight, seven, six, five, and four, and three, and two, and one. Now straighten that leg out straight. And we're just gonna do traditional raises. Making sure you're still keeping your body to the front. Hips are still stacked on top of each other. Toes are pointed away. Locking out behind that leg, stretching and strengthening at the same time. And up, and up, up, and up. Squeezing through the outer thigh and the hips here. Really feeling it. Eight, seven, six, and five, four, and three, and two, and one. Now flexing that foot and keep going, no breaks. Keep going, flexing hard through your heel so you really feel your hamstring stretching. Keep it slightly back, make sure your leg's not drifting to the front, keep it in line with that hip. And up, and up, not touching the ground, keep it high. All the way up, and eight, and seven, and six, and five, and four, and three, and two, and one, now point, flex, alternating. Same fast pace, keep it going, burn it out. Keep burning it out. You can do this, keep it high, squeeze. Keep squeezing. Don't let that leg come low. Eight, and seven, six, and five, and four, and three, and two. And one, awesome job, that's it. We've completed it. The outer thigh burner, short and sweet, but I'm sure you would have felt that just as I definitely did. That L position really gets in there. Hug that knee into the chest, keep your bum cheeks on the ground, really apply that extra pressure. Squeezing it in. Ah, oh, that feels great. Feels really good. And then just cross your legs and lean your chest forward. I can hardly even do this because my buns are so tight. Oh, my outer thighs are definitely feeling this. Stretch. And then just switch which leg is in front. And same thing, coming down. Just coming down to where you feel that stretch. And for the same area, I don't know if I'll even be able to do this, pigeon stretch. So keeping one leg in front and just coming over the top of that, extending your other leg behind you. 
really pushing down the weight of your body over that leg, feeling that front glute stretching. And then switching sides, other leg to the back, oh, and down. All the way down. Releasing. And then just legs in front and chest to your thighs. Just a little bit of a hamstring stretch. Didn't work hamstrings that much, but you know, the, all your leg muscles are connected. So it's good to stretch it out anyway. And there you have it, a quick outer thigh burner. I hope you enjoyed it and I look forward to working out with you again soon.